And welcome back to Every Game Ever. So, uh, you're asking me a question before we started. Yeah. It was like, uh, what did the clean fix flicks version of Dodgeball right. entail? So last time we were talking about uh, this company, Clean Flicks. So the Clean Flicks version of Dodgeball cut out a lot of the raunchier jokes. Yeah. Um, because Patches does say hump a lot. Yeah. So most of the time, like they had to kind of pick and choose some of the some of those battles where it's all like, all right, like Patches is not nearly like you can still tell he's a dirty old man, but they cut out a lot of the jokes. Uh, that were like straight up sexual, you know, yeah. sexual innuendos and stuff. Um, and what they would do is they'd like pick and choose out of scenes what to cut out. So you still yeah. got the plot of dodgeball. Underdog team finds Patches O'Houlihan, becomes a good dodgeball team, and then take on the dodgeball. And uh, like the the plot is still there. It's just you're missing out on so much of what made that movie hilarious. I just remember. So like they helped out, and I remember being like, it's. He's like, oh, we're gonna go rent it from Cleanflix, and I'm like, well, you know, he didn't say that, but he's like, oh, we'll get the edited version. Yeah. And I'm like, it, we prefer our censorship wholesale. Yeah. It's like, and I'm like, it, it's Spider-Man. And I, I, I didn't say it quite like that. As I said, oh, well, it's really clean. It's only, you know, it's it's pretty tame. <laughs> but whatever. So my uh, my friend, the same one we rented the Cleanflix version with, uh, his brother was just. Like hardcore Mormon, right? Yeah. Like, um, even my friend was like, "Nah, he he, he takes it a little too far," because like, um, they didn't watch Raider R uh, oh, yeah. movie, it, movies in their family. That was a family where I had things. So even the adults didn't watch the movies in the family. Yeah. Who didn't watch Raider R movies? And okay, like I can I can understand that. I can uh, I can respect that. You know? Yeah, I get it. His brother, okay, I don't get it. His but older I get brother it. was like, "I don't even watch PG thirteen movies." <laughs> hmm. Which got really, really difficult for him when he made that stance because he was super into the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, like so into it. Like we, he had the extended editions, and he watched everything on the extended editions. Yeah, and I'm not just talking like he watched the whole movie with the commentary. I mean, like those came with like three or four discs of, of DVDs of yeah. like special features, and he watched. Everything. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> you know, like the still friends are like, here are the like the genealogies of all the different people and the things. Like they had that shit in there. Oh yeah, I did the same thing when uh, they came when they released the Star Wars trilogy in like two thousand five on DVD. Yeah. I watched everything on it, and I remember because um, you know there was a lot of stuff about the upcoming third movie. Yeah. See, my problem was, like, the only movies I've ever been that engaged with um, oh, never have, like, any uh, special features. Like, the two movies where I've watched everything on the film is uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the... Uh, on the DVD is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and Zootopia, right? And, unfortunately, on both of those, there is not a lot of special features. Like, Scott Pilgrim has, like, five different audio commentaries. I've listened to them all. They're okay. Um... There's a music video and a couple deleted scenes, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Right? Uh, one or two, like, behind-the-scenes things. Uh, Zootopia has even less. There's, like, two uh, two deleted scenes and a small featurette talking about how Zootopia started off as a completely different movie. You know? <laughs> and, uh, of course, the commentary. And that's it. And I'm like... Um, so I, I go to the University of Utah... And they actually had the directors for Zootopia come in and, and talk it as kind of like a uh, promotional tour. They're going to the universities uh, and talking about like the animation, and I was really fascinated by it because I I'm in the school of film. I'm, that's what I'm getting my degree in, and you know they talked about the new animation techniques they pioneered on this, and I was really excited. And like I'm hoping that maybe the special features talks about it because they completely like made a whole new like engine. Uh, new algorithm to like accurately simulate like the uh, like moving textures like fur and trees and stuff uh, in in wind in an air current. Yeah, and that stuff was fascinating to me. So I was hoping I was gonna find something like that on the DVD. Nothing. Like there is more of the technical making of Frozen than there is of the technical making of Zootopia, and that makes me angry. All right, there we go. That's where I've been looking for. 
<laughs> that was the slowest fucking death. Just yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright. We go up. Elevator go up, elevator go down. Elevator go up, elevator go down. <laughs> chair go up, chair go down. <laughs> Don't know how these guys died. Suicide bat. <laughs> Oh shit, he's coming! Let's do it, Ira. <laughs> you know, that is actually, okay. Uh, somehow related to this in, in my mind. I would, I hope that one of like the, the movies that they'll end up making out of the Star Wars trilogy, like, I would really like to see, like, um, some movies that kind of de explore deeper into, like, life as a stormtrooper. Because I know yeah. we got, uh, oh, damn it, what's his name? Finn? Yeah, Finn. Uh, and that was really cool, like, we learn a little bit about what daily life as a stormtrooper is as he's a deserter, but like it would be really interesting to like even like have like a short film of like stormtroopers trying to escape or something. Yeah, you know, see like the storm how how other stormtroopers have dealt with. Uh, Finally, uh, you know, being a stormtrooper. Yeah, we know that Finn was uh, like something of a special case because like he wasn't a clone trooper; he was like a. Like, he was, like, a new uh, att attempted conscript or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Excuse me. I got tissues this time. Sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna have to... But I don't know, I, th I thought that would be interesting. I think one of my favorite, uh pre-YouTube videos that I used to love watching was this uh, Empire Recruitment video. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> the problem is, is that's where I needed to go back in. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to have to try and fall. Can you not jump? It, it, can you not just force jump up that high? <gasps> the problem is that these are all identical. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to fall down. Okay. <laughs> Jedi take falling damage. <laughs> I assumed it was otherwise, but no, here we are. Yeah. Um what was this uh Jedi Maybe recruitment? Maybe if I had healed before I jumped. Yeah, you were still mostly at full health though. You're like like sixty. Um so the uh the the like the Empire recruitment video, it's like trying to recruit people to become stormtroopers, right? <laughs> and it was Definitely one of my favorite things because it was like there was this one guy like who'd just like keep coming up to random stormtroopers and be like, "Hey, baby, like the way you walk," you know? <laughs> and be like, "Dude, I'm a guy. We're all guys," <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Look, I get it. I've been here for six years. Well, it's like they do that. It's like we're all guys, dude. And then at the very end, it's like this bombshell knockout takes off her helmet. Like, join the Empire today. <laughs> and it's like. You just illustrated that there are no women, like no women stormtroopers, and then you're dangling that in front of people. <laughs> uh, my favorite one's like, it's like we have state of the art, uh, state of the art mental health counseling services, and it's all like, you see this stormtrooper, he's like, and then they come out of the trees with rocks and sticks. I can still remember their screams, like, <laughs> and you just see like the, the therapist like leaning back. And like the little medical ball comes hovering in. What? No! 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 <laughs> oh. But they weren't without their own losses. Yeah. Uh, the Ewoks died. It made me sad. And when he was like, "Come on, buddy, let's go." Yeah. But yeah. 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 It's like, like a uh, cries. Yeah. I know, well, it's it's. It's one of those, like, it's really kind of tragic, but at the same time, it's like, you guys live in tree huts. You should know what death is. You know? Yeah. Like, only in, a, in an advanced civilization do you have the luxury of not knowing what death is. And the whole, like, push him, like, what? No. Wake up, man. Wake up. It's like, no, he's dead. Damn it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I thought this is where I was supposed to go. There's usually... There used to be something you blew up here. No, because the next one is actually on a rooftop. I, okay, I like, it, they, they had a cutscene showing you where you needed to go. It was, like, the next one over. 
You have to do. Then why have you been letting me run in circles? Because I thought you knew where you were going. <laughs> like I couldn't tell you which rooftop it was on. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I'll admit, as a co-pilot, I kind of dropped the ball, but you've also played this game a lot. I assumed you knew some, like, shortcut, I missed, or you... <laughs> like, I missed the, uh... The cutscene. Yeah. Oh, okay, you can't touch the floor. Yeah. Floor's lava! <laughs> floor's electricity. Yeah, no, uh, the next one is on, isn't gonna be on one of the, uh, on the center pillar, it's gonna be one of the outlying stations. Okay, let me run around there, I'll find it. Ugh. Sorry, folks at home who got to watch me run around for no reason. <laughs> it's okay. It's my, you know what, Terry? You need this. This is my bad. 100%. I, 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 I dropped the ball. This. I do need I this. I fucked up. My bad, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be worse. You know, we could be circle jerking like, I don't know. The did the stupid game didn't even tell us. Yeah. And it's like though no, there was like there was a cutscene. <laughs> I just want like Wedge to come on the thing like, hey Jaden, <laughs> going okay? Hey Jaden, we're on a little flow and fuel here, buddy. <laughs> okay, so where was the last one that he hit from here? Because you can usually over see... there. So I'm guessing it's one of these ones by here. I think it's the one right behind you. It's gonna be on the one I have to be, be able to get up there, and I can't. Well, apparently there's a walkway that comes from the side of there, right? So. Yeah, but I can't so, get up to that walkway because it's hmm. it's on the area that got blown up by the. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to do something I did. Well, like the, the, my problem that I have with this is that all of these places look the same. Yeah. And so it's really easy to get disoriented. All right, here's some stormtroopers. Maybe I'm supposed to be somewhere over here. <laughs> that stormtrooper's reaction time needs a. Need some work, and where he's like, he sees you like, ah, and the entire time just staring at you like, hey buddy, what you doing? Oh god, oh I'm dead. No, 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 no. There wasn't even enough time for three no's. It was just like, huh? Oh no. <laughs> okay, huh. if I can get up there, I think I can walk around. Oh, maybe over here. Oh, yeah. No. Damn it. I mean, if you were Super Mario, oh. you could totally make it, but... Come on. Get up. <laughs> the, is the elevator this, broken? This fucking game, man. Is the elevator broken? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about that, 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 uh, that, like, collapsed column. Maybe you can walk up the side of that. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Alright, elevator! <gasps> Any second now. <laughs> up we go. On to <laughs> There we go, okay. Oh fuck this game, man. It's All really right. weird because like Alright. Okay, so Are who's there? Right, right, no so go to get up get on the roof of that. Alright. And I'll show I can I think I can point out to you where the next one is. So look to your left. It was Is it the big is it the was I supposed to blow up the radar? I want to say it's on the. It's either on the radar or just beyond the radar. Okay. I think it's beyond the one, the building beyond the radar. Okay, so it's one of those two. Yeah. Okay. Eric, tell them about the first time you <laughs> drove a car. I threw my best. Fr I, I threw my friend Matt's older brother off the back. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Well, you're lucky this is actually a hell of a story. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were like 12. Alright. Right? Um, well, my friend has an older brother, Mark, who was like 16 or 17, right? And uh, we... Now that we're older, we can understand that his older brother is not all there. You know? When we were little kids, it was just like, yeah, he's weird. Now it's like, oh... Yeah, you know, uh, but like, um, he was always kind of a thrill seeker. So one day he, he we were driving his mom's van, or he his older brother was driving us in, in the mom's van, and it was like, hey, do you wanna like, hey, uh, this is gonna be fun. Like, 
get on, like, I'm gonna, like, it was in, like, the middle, middle of a snowstorm, so, like, there was no one on the road. And so, uh, he, he hopped onto the back, because it had, like, a little handle so you could, yeah. like, haul yourself up on, on, yeah. haul yourself on top of the van in order to, like, stash stuff up there. Um, he was holding onto that, and he was like, yeah, just, you know, just go nuts. So, he let me drive the car for the, 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 the car for the first time. <laughs> And drive the drive the van and uh okay so you <coughs> blew that up I was all swerving left and right and I uh like I look in the back and my my friend Matt's like wait where where did Mark go I'm like oh shit <laughs> slam on the brakes and yeah we totally threw him off he he got up and his shirt's all torn up and he's like, <laughs> like we were only going like twenty miles an hour you know yeah I mean it's still it's still pretty damn fast for uh. Uh, human to hit, the, <laughs> hit concrete, but he got up and was like, "Whoa, that was crazy! Yeah, let's do it again." And we're like, both like, "No, <laughs> never again." Well, no, it was like, because both of us know we're gonna get in trouble, right. and it's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I've been here. I swear." I need to be on the roof. Yeah, damn. Come on. No. Uh, uh, read the elevator up the level. Do not at any time touch the shaft of light in this area. It will, it will end you. Instead, just continue your ascent until you reach the top level. What you do, you find a console with a green button on it. Do it. Jump through the broken glass platform outside. Using narrow ledges and structure, jump up to the top of the building. Look around for a walkway that leads to the communications building and drop down to it. Walk across okay. and you'll be greeted by another floating, armored up stormtrooper. Okay. Use the fletch of fletchette to make short work of them. Communications the building. Son of a bitch, my ankle! Um, my kidneys! And then there should be a beacon over here. I'm going... There it is. Finally. Making another run. Next one is all the way at the bottom over there. Then we went there. Yeah, we went there. The, pr the problem with it is, is that you have to do it in sequence. Yeah. Because that's what I started doing, is when I couldn't find it, I started running to all the places where I knew there were one. There were explosions. Um, so we're going to finish this up next time on Every Game Ever. Um, we'll finish this mission... Everything's going to be hunky-dory. I'll be happy, Terry will be happy, and you'll all be happy. Happy!